Let's get sodium for Minecraft 1.21. First things first, we're going to go to the second link in the description down below. That'll take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting sodium. And when you're on this page, go ahead and click download sodium to go to sodium's official download page. What is sodium, by the way? Well, it's a mod that allows you to increase performance in Minecraft. As you can see, going from 74 FPS to 239 FPS in this case. Once you're on the Sodium's download page though, come up here to the versions tab and what you want to do is find the 1.21 version. Right here it is, but you can also filter for it and find it even quicker. Then click the green download button on the left hand side and you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. 100% safe to do that and Sodium will begin downloading. Watch downloading how to miss from our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24 hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to the server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, we've now got Sodium down loaded, but we also need to get Fabric. Fabric is the Minecraft mod loader that allows Sodium to work with Minecraft. We have it linked in the description down below, of course, with a text guide, but we're going to be going over the basics in this video as well. So once you get to the text guide, go ahead and click Download Fabric. Go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to make sure that you're downloading the Download Universal Jar here by clicking this little link under Download for Windows. The reason we're getting the Universal Jar is if you download it this way, other Minecraft mods will be easier to install in the future. So let's go ahead and click Save there, and it will go ahead and download Fabric right like so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is move both of these to our desktop. So let's go ahead and move Fabric and Sodium to our desktop right like so. And to get started we're actually going to be installing Fabric because Fabric is what allows us to install Sodium in Minecraft. Without Fabric we can't use Sodium at all. Let's go ahead right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or you do and Java doesn't work. Right, so you click OK, you got Java, but it doesn't work. And that's probably because you need Java 21 specifically. Previously, you did not need Java 21 to install Minecraft mods. Now, with Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. And in the description down below, we have an in-depth video and text guide on getting Java 21. You may also need to run the jar fix after you get Java. What this is going to do is link Java and the jar files that you've downloaded together, making them work together. So first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, at this point, we go ahead and minimize our browser. Right-click on Fabric. Click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer. It is important now that you make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed and that you've played Minecraft 1.21 before. Just launch it to the main menu and close out of it. Nevertheless, we now want to click the Versions drop down box here and select version 1.21 and then click Install. Now, Minecraft 1.21 has Fabric installed. Go ahead and click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. And we can actually delete Fabric from our desktop. Now it's time to install Sodium. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And while that's opening, I do want to mention that we have in the description down below Notifine. Notifine is a mod pack that has Sodium and so much more, including shaders installed right out of the box. And honestly, better performance than Sodium alone can give you. It's in the description. It's on CurseForge and it's on Modern. You can download it just like any other Minecraft mod pack. And it's super quick and easy to get running. And once you've got it running, the performance is amazing. I want to mention it because it really can provide a better performance experience than Sodium. To install Sodium, though, from the Minecraft launcher, go up to Installations at the top. Make sure Modded is checked. If Modded is not checked, you want to go ahead and make sure it is, and then you should have Fabric Loader 1.21. If for whatever reason you don't, go ahead and click New Installation and name it SimpleGameHosting.com. At least that's what I'm going to name it because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then click this version drop-down box and find Fabric Loader 1.21. Right here it is for me, but you may need to scroll down to find it. And then once you've got that, we can click create. And now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile. Go ahead and hover over either the profile you created or your default fabric loader 1.21 if you had one and click the folder icon that appears. This is going to open up your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and make one. So we're just going to right click, create a new folder, tell it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase exactly like that. Then open up your mods folder. Now drag and drop sodium from your desktop into your mods folder and it's that easy to get installed. All you got to do now is play Minecraft using your fabric installation, either one that was there by default or the one that you created. I'm going to play this one here and click play and click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. Now Minecraft will open up and Sodium will be installed. So here we are with Minecraft open and Sodium installed. If we go to options and video settings, all Sodium settings are right there on full display and ready for you to use. So much you can do with Sodium out of the box, but like I said, Notifine adds a lot more to that. You would actually be, it's amazing how much uh, more performance settings you get when you use something like Notifine. There are other mod packs out there like Fabulously Optimized that you can check out, but I would actually recommend using one of those on top of Sodium because it really goes a long way. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.